In our series, we visit mainly breeders in the Niigata area, known and unknown. New in our series is the Isakoi farm. This huge complex, with several departments, is located at the foot of the Yamakoshi Mountains in Ojia. Getting one of his favorites, and then we just compare them. So it's very, very kind that they um, they wanted to show uh, their best Nisai and also their best Sansai here at uh, Isakoi Farm. These are all Nisai, so two years old, and they're already, I think, more than 50 cm. So I need to pick a favorite. So we found the second one. So we got two different showas. They're both female and uh, Nisai. Um, we're here still at the Isakoi farm and uh, they really wanted to show me their Nisai and also their Sansai koi. I picked out both koi. They're a little bit different when you look to also the body, uh, but also the, the pattern. When you look at the skin quality from this showa, you will see uh, she needs to develop a little bit more. She got really beautiful soft bany. You will see the great balance when the black or the sumi is coming up. When you look at this particular show, she got also a really, really, really good body. Uh, the body conformation is really good. The shoulders are good. She got a really good long, but also a thick tail. Um, so both koi have something special. It's really personal. I know some, some of you will pick maybe one of uh, uh, another show, uh, but these are two types of show that I would choose just uh, based on uh, uh, skin quality, uh, body, uh, but also the, uh, the pattern. Um, so this one here, the bigger one, has already a really good body shape. Uh, the pattern will be very nice, but I think this one will have a very interesting pattern when you look at the steps of the Sumi. I think both koi will have a really, really, really great future. They're very kind to uh, show them one of their Sansai uh, show us. It's a long time ago that I've seen such good quality show up. If you look at the body shape, the skin quality, also the depth of the sumi or the black, it's, uh, it's really amazing. Everything is there. Well, I think the pattern is also very important for me personally. When you compare it to other koi and you're selecting koi, that um, the first thing you look at is body shape. How is the build of the koi? When you look at the shoulders, also the, the tail, everything uh, needs to be uh, needs to be perfect but when i look at, at showa I, I look a little bit different to koi because i, I really do like uh, the pattern it's for me very uh, very important i think this one is really really gorgeous the benny the red is really soft if you look at the structure on top i have all the potential to, to get even bigger and bigger so this is some side that means it's uh, three years old um, what size so we, uh, we, got, we will check the size. She's only three years old. I think she's... Um, Sixty-seven. Sixty-seven. Hi. So she's... Um, don't jump out, please. So she's... Um, 67 cm and she's just three years old. She will stay in the concrete pond here at uh, the farm till I think it will be May, end of May, beginning of June. And then she probably will go into the mud ponds to grow and develop more. And she will stay there for probably three, three and a half months. Isa Koi Farm, run by Mitsunori Isa, is one of the top breeders in Japan. The Koi Farm starts selling koi in 1917, mainly Kohaku. Soon the Showa variety was added. After winning the best in size prize with one of his Showas, the farm became very popular.
Today, Mitsunori-san mainly grows about 70% Showa, and the rest Sanke and Kohaku. Looking around here is great. The quality is such a pleasure to see. Mitsunori's san hospitality is amazing. I get the freedom to take a closer look and discuss some of their fish. More about this in the next video. I enjoy the fact that I can watch this fish. The skin quality is absolutely amazing. For now, Donald comes to see one of his purchases koi. After a year of absence, he can finally see the development that the fish has gone through. No stranger in this series, Donald. We meet him again at the Isa Koi farm, busy talking to Mitsunori Isa. For now, Donald comes to see one of his purchases koi. After a year of absence, he finally can see the development that the fish has gone through. Nice. Huh? Oh. Size now, Mitsunori? No. 67. Same size. Same size. The sumi has started to come up. Uh huh. Do you think it'll go over the top? No, I don't To come over. Very pleased. Yes. Volume much better. Much better. Mm. What size do you think it'll be? <laughs> Special pond. Uh -huh. Right. Eight cm? And no, that's not good. Sixty-seven. Seventy-five in uh, October. 67 last October, oh. next October, Se about 75. Maybe, maybe. Huh? maybe. You can do it, you can do it. <laughs> yes, I saw it in October and uh, liked it, but I was a little bit concerned that the body shape was a little bit slim. So you can see that uh, Mitsunori has been carried on feeding and it's got a much more volume to it. So the, the body shape, I think, has improved a lot in three months. So I'm very pleased. Donald is a satisfied man, happy with the development of his Showa. Before I leave to my next appointment, I get the chance to see some great fish up close. This Marutan Showa is at the top of my list. What a great fish. <laughs> 